Hey guys, movie review in my school bus. That's right, because I'm, I'm alone out here. So it's movie review or TV show review in my school bus. That's just the way it is. So today I am reviewing uh, a TV show that came out in 1992 through 1993. Long lived, I know. It's called Raven. Uh, it had 20 episodes, uh, two seasons, I guess you could say. Uh, the first season, I think, had seven episodes, and the second season had 13. Uh, some information I've looked up online don't really even count it as two seasons, it's just one season, but I, I'm going to say it's two seasons. So, it stars. Jeffrey Meek as Jonathan Raven and it stars everyone's favorite bionic man and fall guy Lee Majors as Herman Ski Jablonski interesting name so the basic story of it is Jonathan Raven is a former uh, member of the Black Dragons clan he's a ninja He's also a former, a formal, formal, a former special forces. He lives in Hawaii now, and he helps those in trouble, searching for his long lost son. Now, I personally didn't find out what happened to his son. I might have missed it. I miss things sometimes. But somewhere in the beginning, his son was taken or lost. Whatever. I'm not exactly sure. You know, I didn't catch it. Uh, so he's doing all this while fighting off members of the Black Dragons. Herman Ski Jablonski is a private investigator and Raven's best friend, helping him along the way. Uh, Jeffrey Meek is a practitioner of Aikido and Taekwondo in real life. Uh, so... It's nice to see someone, you know, uh, in these kind of movies that really has the training. Which a lot of them do. Most of them do have the training in that. So, in the end, uh, since it did only last for 20 episodes, in the end, uh, there was creative differences. Uh, even CBS uh, was wanting to stray away from all the Japanese stuff. Which is kind of odd, seeing how it's about ninjas and martial arts and all that. I mean, it's, you know, kind of a Japanese thing, kind of an Asian thing. So, very odd. Uh, and Jeffrey Meek wanted to explore the spiritual side of things. Uh, he wanted to be accurate to the culture. He knew Japanese, and uh, he wanted to uh, portray all that in the series and uh, make their culture proud um, unfortunately it didn't get to last long so uh, now here's just a short little bit more here on this uh, sadly it did end with no conclusion so we never find uh, Raven's son um, also the last episode was not up to par. Uh, actually, it was goofy, and really no way to let that series end. Of course, I don't know how much uh, notification they had uh, as to what was going to be their last episode, but the last episode was just not great. It was it was just goofy. It, it had a couple of females in there, and they were just these goofy oddball characters and. Um, it just, I don't know. Anyways, I described this show as kind of a mixture of Miami Vice, Hawaii Five-0, mixed with, uh, you know, martial arts. And that's basically what it is. I mean, some of the music is reminiscent of, like, Miami Vice, the clothing, a lot of the stuff. Of course, that was, uh, it was just shortly it was a couple of years before that that Miami Vice ended. 
and of course this being the early 90s there was still some sense of fashion uh, not a whole lot these days but uh, you can see the fashion from Miami Vice spilling over into this which I thought was cool because I'm a huge fan of Miami Vice uh, so other thoughts on this TV show Raven um, it took a little while for it to grow on me uh, but eventually I found myself actually enjoying it you know uh, it is your it's your typical uh, it's your typical lead character that uh, goes in there and kicks everyone's butt uh, you will find him in very little trouble um, he might get hurt once in a while but it's not hurt to the point of anything you know devastating um, basically you you expect you expect what's gonna happen as far as the fights and all that uh, and they're well then they're well done they're pretty simple and even uh, Jeffrey Meek who plays Jonathan Raven he had you know he did a lot of the choreography and all that and he said he tried to keep it simple but keep it interesting and uh, Lee Majors character Ski that's his nickname Ski uh, his voice the voice that they had him use was just like this and it was just like you know and then I go over here and I shoot somebody and I can't do anything because I keep getting caught and I got all these guns but I can't do anything oh man come on guys hey look at that woman over there Woo, boy howdy she's a good looking woman that's like his voice through the whole 20 episodes um he's supposed to be fighting along with raven and uh he's supposedly this uh detective and i believe he served even uh, in the military with raven i believe i read somewhere uh where he supposedly you know was uh has known him that long and they were in the military together he literally gets in trouble the entire 20 episodes like he is kind of that bumbling idiot that you know it's kind of disappointing because you know you don't want him to be like that in every episode but it's pretty much basically that uh, he always has uh, his fixation on women um, and he's always eating bologna sandwiches and such uh, yeah <laughs> but anyways uh, his character could have been switched up a little bit maybe a little little different development there and uh, and it could have made the show like a hundred percent different uh, Lee Majors I believe was in his early 50s uh, during the show so no he's no spring chicken but I'm 47 years old and I could go out there and Hollywood could make me you know uh, the next martial arts star you know you don't have to be a bumbling idiot just because you're 50s so um, overall overall I, I recommend watching it I mean it's only 20 episodes and it is decent uh, I'm just disappointed that they didn't get to at least finish the story by finding Raven's son but uh you know, outside of that, it, it, it's okay. I, I think you'll enjoy it if you like those kind of movies. And, yeah. So that's that's my opinion on it. <laughs> um, you can watch this online. Uh, the channel that I watched it on on YouTube was Ocean Reef 024. Ocean Reef 024. And he has all the episodes. You can go in there in his playlist and look and scroll down and you'll see all the episodes in that. Um, I recommend watching it. Uh, my rating on this, um, oddly enough, I mean, I do, I gave it a four point, I, I gave it a four out of five is what I gave it. Uh, that might be a little generous, but like I said, it finally did start kind of growing on me. So maybe I kind of, you know, I kind of started connecting with a couple of characters there and and what have you so it, it kind of warmed the old heart up you know um, most people might look at it and give it a two out of five um, I'm probably being generous with my score four out of five you could probably throw it down to a three but I, I think I'm gonna stick with my four out of five 
just because, you know, I did end up more interested in, you know, connecting with the characters a little bit. So, that's my review. That's my horrible reviews. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the little reviews I do. Uh, they're not super in-depth like a lot of people. Um, I'm very new at it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you like them, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please. Um, share my channel, share all my videos, enjoy, sit back, I do bicycling, uh, some video game stuff once in a while, uh, maybe a bicycle maintenance once in a while, you know, I'm trying to do, uh, movie reviews and TV, TV reviews, just some odd stuff that you might not have even heard of even sometimes, so, uh, yeah, I don't get uh, any money from YouTube. I don't have anything monetized that I'm aware of or any ads on my videos that I'm aware of. I do this for fun and I do it for myself. I do it for my family and for you. So, guys, until next time, we'll see you later.